Well, I've got one question for you. What does this glazed fountain, seaweed from the bottom of the ocean, and cake baking all have in common? Well, you know, you're about to tell us. What does it all have in common? Uh, that's uh, glaze. <laughs> it's a particular kind of glaze we make with a thixotropic agar. It's a particular type of agar that we make in Indonesia. The name is agaroles. It's a uh, agar that instead to be a stiff and firm gel, make a very creamy and um, soft structure. So you can use in application where normally uh, animal gelatin is used for like an glaze in the in the um, panna cotta, in the custard and many other yogurt uh, where you have the problem of uh, religious issue or vegans or vegetarian uh, request. So normally agar would be a sort of a, a setting gel, so it would be set. Whereas, I mean, there's a brilliant demonstration here with this glazed fountain. Um, it's spreadable, it's moving, so you can use it. Well, it must have lots of different uses, including the ones you mentioned, like the, the panna cotta and uh, in cake baking. Um, is there something we can try and taste? Yes, of course. Uh, we can, I prepare just for you, uh, <laughs> samples of panna cotta made with uh, our agaroles yeah. and with another ingredient that's animal gelatin, just for your try. Excellent. That sounds wonderful. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to seeing if we can, I suppose, notice the difference because, of course, gelatin, there are a lot of issues around it. You know, you don't want to have it if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian. The idea of gelatin to me also is not one of the best. <laughs> um, so if there is an alternative, a healthier, more natural alternative. Yeah. Right. OK, you better hold them. So, so I'll hold I this. Can hold, I can hold them. Okay. Just try the different. Okay. And right then. So I'm going to I'll, rev I'll review them. And please try this one. Yeah, now. that's quite yeah. nice. It's sort of um, vinegary. Uh, vinegary? Vanillary. Yeah. Mm. That is much nicer. That's a lot creamier, smoother. That's made with agar. That's made with agar all this. So really? It's, uh, wow. Are there any... I mean, it obviously tastes a lot better. Um, it really, really does. It, you know, I, the texture is nicer and creamier, but it also is a little bit sweeter. Um, in terms of the nutrient values, is it healthier for you? What else can it offer that gelatin can't? You know, uh, basically we are talking two different products. Uh, animal gelatin, it's a protein extract from bones and, uh, and um, remaining after slaughter the animals. Uh, agar, it's just practically a, uh, extract from seaweed. We are only using uh, natural seaweed that we cultivate in our own ponds in Indonesia, yeah. organic without any uh, addition of fertilizer or pesticides so we are soon going to certify it organic by the new regulation of the European community. Uh, Agaroles is a, a product that is suitable for all the religion and for all the uh, eating habits like vegetarian vegans and the value the, the calorie is practically zero they not apport any uh, calorie in your body because it's only the fiber undigestible from the human body. So adding uh, uh, agar and or agaroles in your product, you have the same uh, mouthfeel, the same texture, creaminess, and the other product, but without any uh, intake and uh, intake yeah. from uh, any oh, Sounds like a much better solution. So you could use those in sort of chewy sweets, you know, like Haribo or, yeah. you know, whatever uh, the alternatives um, are. Many, many uh, industries, not only in Europe or US, but even in China now, they are trying to follow and pursue this uh, uh, way to use vegetarian pro yeah. vegetable products yeah. instead of animal origin products for a headache and mm -hmm. also because the seaweed comes from a renewable source. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What's the, um, the process of how you make uh, the agar and then the agarales, or agarales, sorry. Um, you know, do you, where do you get the seaweed from? Do you manufacture it? Do you produce that yourself? We have our own ponds in Indonesia. We, um, we have a local agreement with, uh, uh, with thousands of farmers spread in Indonesia. Indonesia is the largest producer of seaweed in the world. 60% of the seaweed that are processing are coming from Indonesia. Uh, we have um, agreements with the rural, rural community. We support them in seedling and uh, we purchase uh, around uh, monthly 20,000 tons of seaweed to process wow. 
and uh, then process is quite natural. It's just a long washing in uh, alkaline water and then a long processing of extraction in uh, high pressure and high temperature. So basically, it has no chemicals addition in the, in the processing. And for this reason, we are going to certified organic since from the production to the pond until the finished product. Well, it would certainly give me, you know, as a consumer, a lot more confidence to eat products that, you know, should contain gelatin as that as an alternative. But you have something else as well, which I'm just going to grab here. This is called um, Fitofiber. What is that? That's the new uh, product that we are launching on this uh, food ingredient in Europe in Paris. It's um, uh, always come from the same source of uh, uh, red seaweed, Gracilaria verrucosa, and it's totally unprocessed one, just wash and uh, boil and spray dry. This product can, it's a perfect source of texturizing mm -hmm. and uh, f uh, insoluble fiber that in one ingredient can give texture to the, your food and also the intake of fiber as the World Health Organization is now trying to uh, um, push the local uh, um, uh, health uh, system yeah. to introduce at least 5% of dietary fiber in the yeah, food okay. to reduce the problem of the obesity. Right, okay, so it's an I suppose it is a simple way of getting more fiber into your food so you kind of feel fuller for longer which seems to be the way a lot of foods are going at the moment. See, this is just a sample how the fita fiber is working. It's a very wa uh, high water binding oh, uh, okay. uh, capacity, very high yeah. and without sinking as this uh, a natural fiber from soy. So you or can si see here all the yeah. soy is yeah. obviously yeah. sunk to the bottom so this is all going to be very liquidy liquidy very soluble yeah. and then the fibers at the bottom which isn't going to give that full yeah. feeling whereas this is quite a dense dense thick. and why this also citrus fiber are settling are s you can see slowly slowly they are mm. sinking why the fita oh, fiber is still remain in full suspension yeah. selena what's the nutritional value of fiber fiber uh, it's a long debate about the uh, nutritional value of the fibers um, in terms of calorie, the fibers, every kind of fiber has zero value in because they are not given any calorie. But the real value is the, um, the fiber they promote the digestion, they can reduce the absorption of the saturated fats. And because they contain a lot of minerals, especially iodine, mm -hmm. because they are a marine source of uh, uh, natural iodine, can make the, your body in a healthiest way. Wow. So yeah. it's a really good way, I suppose, of yeah. you know getting that satisfied feeling fuller for longer, but without having to intake extra calories. Exactly. So g good for sort of you know dietary supplements or diet foods, you know, like a Weight Watchers or something. Yeah, you know the World Health Organization, mm. it's uh, pushing all the government to adopt and uh, and push the companies, the food companies, ready to use to eat food to increase the dietary fiber from 1% uh, as an average today at 5% minimum. Yeah. Because the obesity is nowadays the real uh, disease of the, not only the Western, the world. not oh, only the Western, yes. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm traveling yeah. often to China and yeah, Indonesia, true. and you can see yeah. a lot of... Uh, and I think it was just announced as well, Africa is also getting fatty now, South Africa, exactly. um, uh, with a bit more wealth, with a bit more money, they're eating all the wrong foods. And also because they are reducing the uh, manual work, yeah. most people are sitting 24-7 yeah. and uh, relaxing. They're relaxing. <laughs> Have a great show. Yeah, thank you so much for coming and you are welcome to Indonesia to visit our facility and to visit also Indonesia. Excellent, I'm booking my flight now. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs>